right. Hi. Okay. This is fascinating. So, uh, in t-shirts and everything, so we know who you are. Okay. So you started playing during quarantine, right? Did you play before quarantine, or did you just decided to start playing during quarantine? Well, we, we played a little bit. I think everyone played the game as kids. You know, you know your, your cousin's birthday party was a balloon. You'd hit it yeah. around. Um, so we played a little bit before, and then it eventually evolved into we're all really competitive, and we needed to be held accountable. Um, like, we'd be arguing. I, I'd hit the ground, and then I'd save it, and I'd be like, oh, that didn't hit the ground, and Diego would be screaming at me. No, it did. So we had to start recording ourselves, and then the big, like, an instant replay system. Um, and then, so it was, it all started. It wasn't because we wanted like a TikTok thing or anything. Right. It all started because we wanted to keep each other accountable. And then once COVID hit, we got really bored. We did it some more, posted on TikTok. Next thing you know, uh, here we are. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's pretty intense. I would assume things break in the house. Yeah, um, our parents weren't too happy. Our couch is a little bit broken from diving over it and jumping on it. And we've dented our, well, broke the baseboard on one of our walls. And the lights, we play upstairs. So the lights on the downstairs are like coming out of the ceiling from diving and hitting the floor so much. Wow. And, and so someone in Spain sees this, right? So you, you're posting these things, goes viral, someone in Spain sees it, and they, they decide to have a huge competition. How did you hear about that? Yeah, so I got a DM from an account called the Balloon World Cup. And we get so many DMs of like fifth graders in Michigan saying, oh, please come play balloons. And I'm like, well, we can't afford that. So I tell them that, and they're like, no, we'll, we'll pay for you. Like this is like a, Gerard Piquet is a um, FC Barcelona player. So he saw our video on Spanish Twitter, starts it. We thought it was a scam. Like there's no way they could be having a Balloon World Cup based on our videos. And then two weeks later, we're in Barcelona playing. It didn't make any sense, but it was kind of crazy. Yeah. Wait, yeah, two weeks later? Oh, well, it was, it was four weeks from the DM, so not, it was a bit of an exaggeration. But still, but. I mean, you still have other people from other countries that are all of a sudden, and there's this huge international competition. And who played? Yeah, so I was actually the only one. I represented Team USA. Uh, Issa was unfortunately <laughs> unable to go because of volleyball, but Antonio came with me, so that was great. Um, one of the craziest things about it is, like, we didn't know this thing existed. And then we show up, and we're like celebrities. Like, we had fellow <laughs> competitors come up. They're asking us for pictures. We walk into the event, and we got, like, a red carpet rolled out for us. They're taking pictures as we walk. And then we interviewed with, like, five different Spanish medias. So it was, like, it was insane. <laughs> That's, that is insane. Yeah. And how did you do? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> it, it still hurts to talk about, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but I came in. I think I'm pretty good at almost everything. So... As a, the creator of the game, I thought that I would be able to win it pretty easily. You know, no one plays as much as we have played. At that point, we played for a year and a half, so I thought it'd be easy. And then I show up, and my first competitor is from Cuba, and it turns out he's an internationally sponsored track athlete. So it, it wasn't quite as easy as I thought it would so be. So how, how do they, how do you, how does the game go? Is it who can keep it? in the air the longest or who misses the ball? Like you're playing against someone else and if you can't get to it, you lose. That's how they're doing it? Yeah, yeah. If, you, if, you, uh, if you don't get it in time, then the other person's gonna get a point and you play to see who gets the most and points. And how many points are there? Uh, well, it depends. We for play the, time, or we like to play seven, but for the World Cup, it was two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the most points in two minutes? Uh, yeah. Wow, but you went to Barcelona, and how amazing is that? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter if you won, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, it was a great experience. All yeah. right, so we, we, uh, we're gonna take a break. We set up a fake living, living room because we don't want you to break our real stuff. <laughs> um, and uh, we're gonna have you play after this. We're back with Antonio and Diego and Isa. They inspired the creation of the Balloon World Cup. And uh, okay, tell us how you're gonna play and then you'll play. All right, so we're gonna be playing one V one V one, all of us against each other. Uh, the last person to touch the balloon before it hits the ground hits the point, gets the point. We have uh, two minutes. Person who gets the most point is, I guess, the champion of the world or something. But <laughs> all right, all right, let's see it. <laughs> okay, so after you. Mm -hmm. I after you. Yep. <sighs> Ready? Oh. Is that me? That was a point for Diego. Point for me, Diego. Diego. Oh. Uh, no, you got That's a point, point for Antonio. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. 
Point for Issa. Yeah, point for Issa. Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Point for Issa. Give it to Issa. Point for Issa. Point for Issa. That's <laughs> <laughs> Point for Diego. Point for Diego. Point for Diego. I hit it. Or who is it? Issa? Yeah, Issa. Uh, point for me. Point for Issa. Here, Diego. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. You're welcome. What?